We're probably standing on East London's best kept secret, a 125 year old steamship and we're moored in Victoria Dock which is probably one of the most exciting areas for development in the whole country. East London has got the potential to be a city on the edge of what's already the most exciting city in the world and it's fantastic that the SS Robbie, this very special ship, is part of it. Essentially what we're standing on is the oldest steam coaster. It's going to be 125 next year. It's got the original hill, the original engine. What really excites me about this project is that it's bringing this boat back to Newham. It was built here at the shipyard which gave West Ham their name and the ironworks and from there it went up to Scotland but then it served for over 70 years as a boat both in this country and in Spain working along the coast of France as well so it's got a really good European story. Probably going to say Spain actually saved it because most of the time a ship like this would have a lifespan of 20 years but instead in the warmer weather it served for about 70 and then was brought back to this country in the 1970s. Robin its day was a real innovator, it was the first of its type in terms of a steamship. The reason you can see where sails would be attached that people didn't quite trust the steam, would it actually work? And so we've got an opportunity to now play a part in the future and what we're looking to do is open it up as a museum, yes, but also a community resource, an art space, perhaps even a place for social businesses, but also turn it into a fantastic community venue that really means something to local people. We're standing at the stern of Robin, you can see behind me the, 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 the propeller and the, and, and the rudder. As a, one of the 200 vessels in the National Historic Fleet, Robin is on a par with the Victory, the Mary Rose, the Cutty Sark, uh, the, the paddle steamer Waverley. And the reason she shows it's so important is because she's the last surviving steam coaster of all those thousands of dirty British coasters that John Mason spoke about in his poems. She is the last one. And standing here, you can see she, she's in, in remarkable condition. And if you walk through this ship, you, you're walking through time. You're walking past the steam engine. You're walking in, into the big open hold where, where she carried her, her, her cargo. You're walking past the, 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 the bridge in the middle of the ship, now very old-fashioned, and up to the very tight bows, the forecastle where the crew lived. And this ship tells that whole story. That's why she's so important. I knew the Robin when she was in the West India Quay. I worked for the LDC at the time and I knew her. But when she came here, it suddenly lit a little flame in my head. It, there's another link. Yes, this is brilliant. All this future development is brilliant. But we cannot forget our past. We mustn't forget our past. And the Robin is a historic vessel, 1890, one of the oldest boats in the world. Now, she needs some capital to actually get her. We're never going to get her seaworthy again, but we're going to turn her into a place where people can actually come on board, learn about the area, because there will be videos and things like that going about, learn about the history of these docks, and learn how tight those little boats were for crew accommodation, for instance. And when I was on a boat called the Dominion Monarch, one of the biggest coming here, 28,000 tonne, there was eight of us in a cabin. That's okay in the winter, but it gets a bit in the summer when you get through the tropics. So when people go on there and they go, Wow, how many crew? A little tiny galley I had to cook with them. And it was coal, you had to stoke the fire. And then you look at the captain, which is a captain, tiny little cabin. It's all of that. And I just want to see this docks. Actually, yeah, let, let's celebrate all this new stuff, but let's remember what went on. And let's remember how important and how hard it was to the men and women who worked in these docks. We owe it to them. We owe it to them to remember their memories and to remember how tough these docks were. I've got a statue over there called the Docker Statue. I said, look, we've got to get a statue in these docks to commemorate our past. So they said, OK, John, design it. So I designed it. It's three dockers standing around a load. And the artist actually said, OK, how did they dress? So I dressed up as the old boy in the barrel. That's supposed to be me. And there was a docker scarf and a flat cap and a meal on my shoulder. But the main aim of these docks was to fetch cargo in and take cargo out. And that three dockers, one tally clerk and two dockers, standing around alone, says that. I'm very proud of that because I was involved. And I'm very proud of the people who got behind us to actually make it happen. I've uh, been working as a heritage consultant for nearly 20 years now. And as part of that, working for the HLF, I first encountered SS Robin in about 2007 when she's still in West India docks. 
Uh, so I've had a long involvement and it's been so exciting to see the point she's got to now on this amazing pontoon, which is really a unique solution in terms of preserving a historic ship. And the Robin is really special. She is in a class of her own on the National Historic Fleet. She's the only surviving steam coastal uh, cargo ship and it's been extraordinarily important to preserve her physically. There's a, there's a personal dimension for me. I, um, I learned that my father piloted her on her last voyage under her own steam and so uh, that memory, but dad's not around anymore, but that memory particularly comes home to me when I'm on, on her. My deep gratitude will go to Crossrail. I mean, they were engaged with the engineering of the future and they decided to support the Robin because they realised that we wouldn't have that engineering capability if we hadn't been able to create vessels like, like the Robin. It's a bit of a labour of love, as I think probably everyone, everyone has. It gets you like a little boy or something, and just something, something about it that you just feel enticed to. Um, so that's, that's, that's been our main, main drive. It's something, it's, uh, it's like nothing you've ever experienced before. Okay, there's the ships you can see, but they're generally all the upper end of the scale, the cutty sarks and the polished decks and the shiny chrome. This is, this is the nut and bolts. This is what it's really about. This is, this is the, uh, there were how many thousand of these ships built. It was, a, but this is the prototype. Apparently this is the prototype of all new cargo ships. So, and it's the last remaining one in the world. For us, it's really exciting because it's, a, it's an opportunity for our young people to really engage with the history of the area. Um, so we're, we're very much looking forward to working with all the team at the SS Robin to, 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 to really have a practical sense of the history of the docks and, and what it meant to, to, to be on a ship that was coming in and out of the docks every day, to work on that ship and, and to, to sort of actually see the, the working of it. But the, the other side of it that we're really excited about is, is the engineering, the technology behind the SS Robin. Um, we've, we've built a part of our curriculum around STEM, so all the science and technology and engineering, and we're really, really looking forward to actually getting involved with the Robin and understanding what made it tick and, and why it was so technologically advanced of its day. I've been all my life in the marine industry, I've been at sea, I've been, worked in the design office, I've managed ships, repaired ships. I would see it as being a, um, a landmark really in the, the era of the early construction of steam cargo ships and the way in which she's preserved now she'll be available for many generations to come to be able to see what that technology involves. We're working within our uh, CSR budget, our corporate social responsibility budget, um, so we find it useful and helpful. We're quite happy to help out with a, a local attraction like this. Uh, it's on our doorstep. Uh, we're very keen um, to, see, uh, to see the ship uh, available and open to the public again. Um, we're, we're all naval architects, marine engineers, ships captains. Uh, you know, we, we have an interest in ships and the sea, um, the local shipyards. Many of, many of my colleagues were w working ships in and out of the docks here and it's nice to see it back uh, doing the sort of work uh, perhaps uh, which it was doing. So, so we have a personal interest as well. We welcome any support that we can. Yes, we've had some fantastic support of HLF, Crossrail, the London Borough of Newham and the Peabody Trust. But every donation counts. You're able to give by text giving or send us a cheque. Equally, we realise people haven't always got a great deal of money. Time's fantastic. If you're interested in volunteering, please do contact us, ssrobin at outlook.com. Equally, if you're a business and you'd like to get involved, be that corporate volunteering, or perhaps even thinking about getting involved in the future with the fit out, you'd be very welcome. And of course, we'll be opening in spring 2015 to mark our 125th birthday. So please do come along and see us then. You've got a boat over there, which is probably a couple of year old, and you've got this one from 1890 in the same frame. You know, yeah, how, how bad's that? You know, and let's you know, let's get people on board. Let's look at the Trinity Light boy and all that behind her. Yeah.